Mubat's father finally reveals why he buried his body so fast. Shocking. Hello, people. Welcome back once again to this particular channel. You know, after the popular artist being uh, Mubat died, I know it wasn't even up to 48 hours or even 24 hours. The next thing we heard was that they, they've gone to bury him and all that. And people were so scared and so shocked that a celebrity like that was buried. And it's not like this boy uh, is or was a Muslim. He's a Christian. And he has every right, as a matter of fact, to stay in the mortuary or for some certain number of days or even weeks. So that was when people started making a lot of investigation because the mysterious death and death and the way he died, it, 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 it wasn't like he was sick or probably was suffering from any sickness or probably anything happened to him. No, he was highly and mysteriously died. And instead of, you know, his father, as a matter of fact, to allow this particular boy uh, to, to probably an autopsy or investigation to be carried out to know what eventually led to his death. They even rushed and went and buried him. If you all could remember, they even put him in a coffin that was not even his size to the extent that they had to bend his uh, neck for the for his neck and body to fit into or inside the uh, coffin. That was when a lot of people started asking the police to interrogate his father. Because even from the reports we heard, an, an elderly man said that Mubarak's father even wanted to bury him that particular night he died. But you know, people told him to calm down so that uh, you know he would bury uh, during the uh, morning and all that. And that was when people said the police should actually investigate this matter to know what prompted and what even led uh, and, and, and made uh, that led to this quick uh, burying of this particular boy being more bad. And his father has actually come out today to explain why he had to bury the boy uh, so quick and so fast. And you know when we come back, he spoke in Yoruba. Now, in case you don't understand Yoruba, I'm going to interpret what he said at the end of that particular video so that you understand the reason why he had to bury more bad so quickly, even without anybody's knowledge, even without you know allowing for an autopsy to be carried out. When we come back, we'll try to analyze what he said and everything and the implications. Can you read everything to us, Sina? No. When you come here, when you go, can you send me and you know, cause it will be. At the end of the day, when you lay your back, when you go home, you can share your opinion and basically, see, you have to go back to your life. Because you have to go back to your life. Daddy, you better be Only <laughs> Oh girl. Eh, daddy. Eh, ni ojo yen. She ma wipe. Ni ojo yen. She ma wipe. Lori, Lori, I want comment session. Ton so. Lori, for ton so. Lori, comment session. Oni pe e tun jasi ille. Okay, you've heard what our mobile father said. You know, before we uh, translate to our uh, English, please, if this is your first time of actually visiting this channel, don't hesitate as a matter of fact to click on the notification button so you get notified whenever we drop you know, an important update like this. And equally subscribe to this particular channel and do well to share this video so people will know the true stance and the truth behind mobile's death and why he was so why he was buried so fast. Now, from what his father said, his father categorically said something. Look at what his look at the implication of what his father said. His father said. As you can see on the screen, this is the uh, English interpretation of the Yoruba the man spoke, where he was explaining that Mobad, uh, why he buried Mobad so far, far quick. From what he's saying, he's saying that according to Yoruba culture, according to what he's, what he's saying, he said, I buried uh, Mobad quickly because of cultural reasons. In Yoruba culture, he be, when a child like Mobad that is still very young passes away and both parents are alive, you can't keep his corpse for long. Mobad's father finally reveals why he buried or hurriedly buried Mobad. Now, this is a culture that a lot, a lot of people know. You know, we are not doubting this particular culture. Even in Igbo culture and some other places, you know, when a young man dies, actually, the young man can actually be buried as soon as possible, especially when the young man dies in the, in, while his parents are still alive. 
But this particular case, this boy is a celebrity. I know this. Uh, the such barriers are being done. If the boy probably uh, his death was known, or probably walking him was known, but this boy just suddenly died mysteriously. The only video we saw was when one of his friends was holding him and crying up and down, and we don't even know what happened. They said, and I, 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 a nurse actually gave him an injection and all that, and to date nobody knows the injection or probably what he was treating. So that is the reason why the culture should have, should have actually been postponed. And this man could have allowed the autopsy to be carried out before even burying his son. There are situations whereby the culture will not count. There are situations whereby the culture shouldn't even be obeyed because it now that everybody is shouting justice for this boy because people want to ascertain and know what to leak in. A lot of people have been pointing Naira Mali and some other people, even some of his colleagues that he that fought him before the his death. Some people have been saying that he, he was charmed and all that. And this could have even been sorted that had it been his father did not bury him so quick. An autopsy quickly could have been done. That is why the police said that they are going to assume his body back. As a matter of fact, in order for them to, you know, carry out an autopsy and other critical investigation, and the police has given assurance that in two weeks' time to come, you know, the full investigation and the result of the investigation will be made public. But a lot of people are accusing Moba's dad that probably there is something he knows that people don't know. And, you know, a lot of suspicion started, you know, uh, growing up and, you know, within a, a lot of places because of the way he quickly and hurriedly went and buried this particular boy. But he has come out to say his own side of the story. Only God knows if it's true or not. Though we understand that this particular culture, there is something like this in most places, whereby if a, if a young man dies in the presence of his parents, there is no need to keep the person for long, you know. But in this case, his death was not known. That is why that is the, the more reason why the boy or the, that mobile shouldn't have been buried so quickly. Well, I'll keep you guys posted, and I would like you guys to equally to drop your comment concerning this statement that mobile's dad made.